Hello and welcome to another episode of Forensic Friday. Today I'm going to be talking about the electrostatic detection apparatus or ESDA. ESDA is used for the analysis of handwriting and in the particular investigation that I filmed in the lab at university it is used to analyse handwriting imprints. So ESDA is a very small part of forensic handwriting analysis. I will probably make a much bigger in-depth video about forensic handwriting analysis because it's really interesting Thing, but there's a lot of it. So this is just kind of a snippet into one of the methods of analysis that are used. So the electrostatic detection apparatus can be used for detecting handwriting imprint on paper, footwear imprint on paper, it can be used for detecting fingerprints. For the particular investigation that we carried out, we had the example of you are a CSI and you've gone into a house to try and find evidence for somebody's involvement within a crime. So for example, somebody has written on a pad of paper the address of where the crime is going to happen. So if I was to write it on like an address or a phone number, so the perpetrator would take this piece of paper with the address on and we would be left with the blank page and hopefully some handwriting imprints. So this page or this notepad will be taken for evidence and within a lab the page will be placed onto the bronze plate of the ESDA. Mylofilm is then pulled across the page and any creases and air bubbles are smoothed out by hand. An electrostatic charge is passed across the film. The charge allows the film to present the indentations in the paper. The wire which is giving off the electrostatic charge is inside the box which Aaron's holding, and the box is called a corona. Photocopy toner is then passed across the film, so the stuff in the tub consists of tiny plastic or glass beads with photocopy toner mixed in. The toner then adheres to the indentations that have been created in the film and produces a visualisation of the indentations without affecting the actual piece of paper. A sticky back plastic sheet is then placed over the film to make the toner merely more than temporary dust and creates an image of the writing that could have been on the page. The sheet is then smoothed out with a roller to remove any air bubbles. As you can see from the video, the imprints from the handwriting come up after the beads are passed over the top of it. Using ESDA is completely non-destructive to the piece of evidence. So for example, in the picture of my example, you can see that there's a couple of fingerprints on the side of it. When you use fingerprinting powder or chemicals to develop latent fingerprints, it's usually destructive to the piece of evidence, so ESDA would be carried out beforehand so you haven't compromised the evidence before you need to do more analysis of it. I'd just like to say thank you to Aaron for letting me film him. That procedure was actually assessed, so he had the stress of me filming him and actually doing that. Like I said, this was just a little snippet into handwriting analysis, just one process in a very large topic. I will hopefully cover it in a future video. If you have any questions about the electrostatic detection apparatus or the procedure that it uses or Forensic Friday in general then please leave them in the comments. If there's any particular topics you'd like me to cover in Forensic Fridays then leave them in the comments too. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.